Hello everyone, today I'm going to be clearing day 1 of Dark Vigis number 9 which is usually a steamroll uh, since it's day 1 so in this first stage is a demon boss weak to magic, fire and earth so the first thing I'll be bringing is going to be emperor base form, not wearing anything brushy form, a lot of magic plant killer, I mean demon killer and LB damage with a non NV base vision cards of course Lauren is going to be support chaining my emperor and also she's going to be breaking with 85% breaks so her, her gear is irrelevant Marie is going to be buffing everyone ele elemental resist and also equipped with Leviathan for the flight frames chain Realm is going to be here for her right in peril she's going to be filling up um, Emperor's LB on turn 1 and also you know, giving him LB damage LB damage and the fire in peril as mine zone is going to be innate provoking uh, and also uh, support chaining with Lauren and dark spirit soul equipped with black dragon for flood frames is going to be here for his demon killer buff that's going to get mirrored by zone so in turn one emperor is going to use kneel before me for the uh, magic buff Lauren will use Shield Crusher for the 85% breaks. Marie will use Excessive Lover for the Elemental Resist. Dark Spirit Soul will use Path to Destruction for the Demon Killer buff. Realm will uh, dual cast, which you pose for a portrait, and you're still standing to buff up LB damage and also for your Rotten Peril for my Emperor. And my Mind Zone is going to double up Critical Mirror on Soul and project it to Emperor. Now Emperor is going to brace shift into Asteroid. Realm is going to use her Flame Sketch for the Fire Resist in Peril and also the 50% damage buff. Lauren triple cast her AR into double SR. We have Zon AR double SR. Murray and Sol will chain their flat frames for a head start. So to time it right, you're supposed to click Emperor first and wait for a few seconds and then tap the AR chainers so you can get all of the damage. So I'm going to chain the flood frames first, wait until they fall, then use Emperor, wait a few seconds and chain Lauren and Zon. There we go, easy cap. Now for uh, Dark Diabolos, which is going to be the same fight. So Emperor will use Neil before me, Lauren will break, Marie will buff our elemental resist, Realm will dual cast both for cooldown, Soul will use Path to Destruction, and as mine's on, it's going to mirror that to my Emperor. Shift to LB Flame Sketch Lauren will triple cast AR to double SR Tempest Flash into Slashing Bolt Same goes for Mass Mind Zone Obscure Solitude to Lethal Virus and the Flat Frames Chain from these two. Emperor, a few seconds, and then change the AR. So that's the magic stage done for day one, and now we're off to the physical stage. 
which is also going to be a steamroll if you have Tifa, which everyone does. So for the physical stage, it's a bird boss, weak to thunder and holy. If I switch over to my weak to thunder and load up my team. So I'm gonna be uh turn one all of the all of these. So the first thing I'll be doing is going to be Assassin Shadow. Uh base form not wearing much besides 100 percent water resist, which you're gonna be needing for the second fight against Dark Siren, who will have a preemptive uh water attack. Uh Assassin Shadow brace your form, equipped with a lot of attack, bird killer, and also a non-envy base vision card. Ram will be doing her usual job. Except this time for Tifa, buffing up uh, thunder damage in per uh, using her thunder in peril and filling up Tifa's LB. So her gear is irrelevant besides from 100% water resist. Here's my Tifa base form, not really wearing much besides uh, water resist and B BS form. Uh, she has a lot of attack, bird killer, and a non NV base vision card. Lauren's going to be chaining with assassin shadow so i just gave her whatever leftover attack gear that i got sakura is going to be imbuing everyone not everyone uh assassin shadow and tifa with thunder you also 100 water resist and itachi is going to be my breaker um also with 100 water resist so now assassin shadow is going to brace shift Triple stealth attack. Uh, AR to double SR, so Shadow Step Shuriken, Diamond Shuriken, and Mighty Shuriken. Lauren's going to be paired with a triple twin blade. Temple's Flash to Slashing Bolt. Blossom Sage Sakura is going to imbue my Tifa and Shadow using Electric Fusion. Shadow and Tifa. Realm is going to use. A spark sketch for the thunder in peril and the um, bonus thunder damage and also your still standing to fill up Tifa's LB Brace shift into true final form and Itachi is going to break when we do any kind of damage so Chain, we for the chain to build up and Tifa that's already a one shot full damage form. Well, for Dark Siren, who I remind you has a preemptive water attack. So everyone, if you don't have uh, Summer Fin and Daisy who have a preemptive cover, you must gear everyone with uh, water resist. So the usual, uh, Sun Shadow will break shift into his AR, double SR, singles for Lauren, Realm, and everyone else. Tifa brace shift into true final heaven chain and finish. And full damage score. So that's it for day one. So I don't really expect any like struggles between day one and day, day two. Maybe day three where the final stage is with the one physical, one magical, and the final boss. That's where the challenge is going to be. So don't expect much, you know, struggle for this day and the second day. And that's about it.